For some reason today, uh, a lot of people are bringing up something that isn't true. They keep saying, you can't see Kaneko's reflection on the metal back here. And that's just not true at all. Um, I think anybody who's watched these videos and seen the original uh, can easily see it. Also, there's another video going out by somebody that claims all kinds of different things. That this little dark spot here just mysteriously disappears. And the reason they say that is because they have a really poor quality video with a ton of pixelation. And, you know, that does disappear in their video. Okay. Uh, my video doesn't. But, of course, you conspiracy theorists will say, Oh, well, she has the original. You don't. Yours is the one that they edited. Hers was the original. You know, that's always the explanation for everything. Okay? It's, uh, it's insane. All right. So, here she is. She's coming in. I have this at 25% um, speed. You know, I don't know if we want to watch that. How, I mean, it's pretty slow. Uh but, you know, maybe you'll pick something up. You can tell her, her genes are really low. They're just right there. And if you guys ever watch the, the actual surveillance footage, she has to pull up her genes a couple times, and a few times her breasts actually came out of whatever top she had, especially when she fell over the, the um, stair rails. She had to, like, put them back in and so forth. So it's not like, um, I you know, I think the condition she was found in the freezer is consistent with the manner and cause of her death, okay? And her uh, level of undress, you know, a lot of people say um, paradoxical undressing and so forth. Um, but I think the images actually show kind of how she, she was wearing her pants and, and everything. They're just kind of loose and... Um, you know, the pants were loose and the bra or whatever, whatever you call that, the top she was wearing underneath the jean jacket. And it just, you know, came on, came loose while she was, you know, probably struggling to survive, you know, it just came a little looser. But, you know, when you listen to Nancy Disgrace, I call her Nancy Disgrace, she always says, first she said on her show, um, oh, her, her, Top was a little bit past her hips, and then her her top was up. And then she realized that just didn't have enough cash, so she later said her top her pants were down, and her shirt was up. You know, it's like really you you almost sound like she's naked or something. I mean, the way she described it was so overboard and inaccurate, and it's you know it's really embarrassing sometimes when you. When you uh, when you actually listen to Nancy Grace, I actually made a video on Nancy Grace uh, two and a half weeks ago on another case that I work on uh, that had nothing. And when I say work on, I mean I don't get paid to do it; I just do it. Okay, it's the Libby Nabby case in Delphi. But anyways, there, that show is a joke, and I, I know Nancy's become a big hero because she said all the things that everybody wanted her to say but i think if you're intellectually honest you'll realize she completely sensationalized what was going on there it's a joke okay now look at this so here's kanika she's walking back all right and then about right here she kind of takes a glance oh look back there then she goes back and i think she actually passed the cooler door kind of went to the end and then she maybe she looked in and goes, oh, there's nowhere to go. Because that other freezer, it's kind of easy to see that there's nothing going on once you open the door. Then she came back and opened up the cooler door. Now watch. You can actually see the shadow right there. Look at that. I want to go scroll back and forth. Okay. Keep looking right there. Absolutely no doubt that that's what that is. Uh, you know what we could do is try to rotate the scene so it's oriented kind of like straight up and down uh let's see i don't know if that'll help at all but you know now you're looking kind of like a normal eye view straight up and down yeah see that so what what you got here is you actually see the shadow of the door right here 
and then the reflection of the door on this metal wall. You know, because the door actually opens up the other way, and this wall right here is absolutely perfectly lined up with the edge of the door, and you 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 can never see it open. If the camera was just over an inch this direction to the right, you could see it open. But all we have is a shadow right there, and it definitely is a shadow from her opening the door. Yeah. Yeah, right there, back and forth, back and forth. You know, and the pro sadly it cuts away. I was hoping that when you saved out the 3GP file, that it actually did record everything, but it doesn't do, do doesn't do that. It actually just fills in the hours and hours of no motion with a digital still that um, has no motion in it from filming. Okay, that's just what that. Just what it does. So it finds like the last known digital still and then fills it in to save space. That's why this exe file is so small because there's only three motion captured. Okay. Now, let's just look at this guy for a second. I think this guy is kind of a little bit, he's a little strange to be honest with you. Just what he's doing. It's almost like he did see the surveillance footage and he's coming back to look. And he's just kind of like weird how he's just sort of looking over at the wall there and then back over there puts his glasses you know adjusts his glasses kind of walks takes another glance over there and you know it's not a very if he came in there to actually look for kanika it's it's really a poor attempt he could be, be there looking at something else though see that's where speculation comes in i mean what if he's just in there checking to see if any you know gas lines you know just kind of taking a quick glance at the room for just general maintenance has nothing to do with looking for kanika although the timing seems like by this time they would have already picked her up on surveillance uh camera footage and maybe had a, an idea she might be there it almost seems like this guy came up there and he reported back yeah i didn't see her there and then later on they actually found that last surveillance footage of her coming in and then the manager probably said something like i mean this is just total speculation here but hey didn't you say you went up there i we we see her going in but she doesn't come out he goes well i just kind of glanced into the room and then he was like oh crap so then the manager comes up and then he has a way better uh idea and he knows exactly that she went back there so first he kind of looks around maybe this corner because possibly she could be hidden out of view right there then he goes back to the, uh, you know, back where the uh, freezer is, you know. So I wonder if it would be useful to open up the, the actual, the surveillance of him going to the freezer and see if you can see that that shadow looks about the same. So let me, let me open up uh, the it's called the upper kitchen. Uh, where is that? Yeah, there it is. Upper, up, upstairs kitchen. I'll open up the exe file and I'll just put it right over here. See, I'm opening up this file right now, right there. Okay, so here he comes. See, look at that dot still there. Okay, so he knows where he's going to be looking, right? So now look at the shadow there. Let's see if it does that when it opens. Yeah, you see how that, that little shift right there? Yeah, right there in the color. Maybe look at that again. That was me clicking, by the way, if you, in case you don't. All right, let's watch that again. Comes in, kind of looks around this corner, thinking maybe, you know, it's possible she came over here. 
and was out of view. So he walks around. And so you see his shadow on the wall there. So that's kind of what we see. We see Kanika right there. The door opening. Now, right now we went in. Now everyone says, oh, we unlocked the doors. Do you think you could unlock two doors that quickly? So watch watch that again. Okay. A lot of people say, oh, we opened up. He unlocked the door. Well, how? how? You know, like. So watch that again. So picture somebody with keys in their hands. See, he had his flashlight, and, he, and you can open up the doors manually. You know, that's how Kanika got in there. So watch this. He's got a key in his hand. Okay, he's not in the door yet. He still sees his shadow on the door. Then he goes, opens the door, has a light out. Okay, then he walks into the uh, cooler, opens up the other door with his light out. Oh, God, and then he kind of hustles out. You know, if he was unlocking it, it's... It's not. It's never that quick, all right? It's pretty obvious he did not unlock anything, all right? And if you read the report, he actually had a flashlight in his hand. I already made a whole video about this. This video, though, is about that you can see Kanika's shadow or the door shadow uh, right here in the surveillance footage. Okay, uh, I hope that explains everything. Well, let's watch this part. This part's pretty interesting. You can see the cop goes back there, and he too, he brings out his flashlight. How dare he bring out a flashlight when there's actually light switches? Okay, now the manager actually opened the door first, then started using his flashlight. Because when he opened the first door, there's already light in there. This officer immediately just put his flashlight on and had it ready. Okay, so he went back there. And now he's, you know, looking at Kanika. You see the shadow again, and then he comes out. I think he might be the one that we hear that that radio call where he's like, "Oh, geez, you know, we found her back here." I, I I don't know where I can find that audio. If anybody knows where that is, I've heard it on videos before, but I can't find it. Okay, well, I hope that uh, helps out, and we will talk to you later. Bye.